All right, you guys, Zach came home, I gave him a haircut, and then now he just left for work. So I am by myself for the rest of the evening, and I'm just gonna take you guys with me, vlog this, maybe we'll go visit Zach at work. I don't think I'm allowed to take the camera inside, but maybe we can go say hi to him, convince him. And But until then, I'm gonna show you guys, I was gonna do like a full blown like video haul, but I actually think I'm just gonna share it here vlog style because why not? I haven't really done anything like this. I got this vlogging camera because I wanted to pump out more content. It's a lot easier, but anyway. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen these, uh, this little clothing haul. But you know what? I may go ahead and try these all on for you. I placed an order with Abercrombie if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram. You won't know this, but I am like literally obsessed. I feel like everything that they have, especially for curvy women, is just so good and really well priced for what it is. So I have this top that I'm wearing and these joggers. Now, I kept ordering a bunch of sweatpants and I realized it's joggers. Curvy girls get joggers because it really still shows your shape. And so I also got the, the same top, it's a bodysuit in nude and these are a total skims dupe they, i think they only have two colors though at least like skin tone and neutrals uh but i am obsessed i it i've been wearing these like every single day they just kind of don't totally do like the turtleneck and i really love that i got a size small i would say size down they are extremely stretchy size down or get true to size because I have gotten medium and it was fine as well. And then, you know what, maybe I'll just put, put it, nah, I'll try it on. I got this top, which is like a one sleeve. I'll put that on here in a second. Same one in the one sleeve in kind of more of a mauve And this super skinny strap. I think having these super skinny straps are really flattering for curvy women because it almost, you would think that you want more up here to like cover, but I find that almost makes you look bulkier. So I go with the skinny strap, makes me feel smaller. And then we're going on a staycation, which I will be vlogging. So I got this naked wardrobe dress. It's like a fitted dress. It goes down almost to my ankles. It's amazing. I will put it on in a second, but I just want to run through these items that I'm gonna share with you guys. Now, you already know, I'm obsessed with clay pots. So I got this clay pot here. And then I'm gonna actually kind of revamp and restyle my space out there. So I'll show you guys these as well, more styled. I got this soapstone here and then these candles. What I loved about these candles is they're like really thick. Let me see get them in focus they're really really thick so they're not like a normal tapered candle they're incredible like i just think they're so unique i got these at a local little shop though so if i can find these i'll link everything down below for you guys but if i can find those i will add those now i wanted a new makeup bag because mine is like I don't have a ton of makeup. All my makeup pretty much fits in one bag and then I have some extra like lipsticks and lip liners in my bedside table, but I'm not one who has a ton. I I don't know if I'll ever get that way. I might, cause I do love makeup. But I ordered these makeup bags right here. They're just like Marc Jacobs or like canvas and they're the quilted pattern. I ordered these because I thought that they were so cute, but they're just a little too small. I don't know, for what I was looking for. Let me see, yeah, there we go. But they're super cute. So if you're looking for like a small, cute little makeup bag, I'll link these ones down below. I bought two, but I do have to take them back because I, I do want something bigger. And okay, the other thing is, do you guys remember, I don't know, let me see if I can go. Do you remember back in the day when Ardell Wispies were like the lash? I don't know about you guys, I used to watch a bunch of YouTube videos and these were like the lash these and like I think they were called like the Demi Wispies. So I was at Target today, picked these up, 
so glad I did. These things are so long. I don't remember them being this long, but I, I really like them. So the next thing that I picked up or the next few things are going to be from Sephora. I got the Way Detox Shampoo. I freaking love this stuff. It smells amazing. Oh, hello girl. Getting it everywhere. Uh, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I don't even know what this scent is, but I love it. I've, I've been using this for a few months and the one that I have is about to be out. So I just picked up another one. I do want to get the fine hair. I have fine hair and I want to get the fine hair shampoo and conditioner. I think they have fine, medium, thick. I love their products. They so good. So, so good. And the few items that I got. Okay. I feel like I can share with you guys because the last time I shared my favorite lip combo, it sold out and then I couldn't get my hands on it. And I ran out of, I ran out of the lip liner and almost, I'm almost out of the lip stick. So my favorite lip liner, no, it's not this one. It's the Marc Jacobs, uh, what is this? Lip liner in the color Nudist. So if you're like my complexion, this is a really good nude, but I think if you are even more fair than me or even darker than me, I think you could really get away with this as well. It's like the perfect nude. Because sometimes, like, if you are more fair, you guys, I have lip liner on, but I ate lunch and I did not reapply. So, so sorry. Uh, this one, the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, that's what I have on right now. And it's kind of dark. So I feel like if you're more fair, it will be like this for, you know, you, maybe not this dark. But if you are, you know, darker, it, it will be lighter, which I really, I like to do both. Sometimes I like a lighter nude lip. Sometimes I like darker. So I love these. That's Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude and Marc Jacobs in the color Nudist. And then my all-time favorite lipstick and is Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. I love this one because it almost feels like I can wear it with any lip liner and it just, it's like the perfect nude and you can kind of put it on light or you can go heavy handed with it. I don't know. I love it. So let's see. Let's see if you can see that color. It's so good. Let me see. Let me get a little closer. Can you see that? It's like kind of dark. Hold on. There we go. Yes. It's so beautiful. Like I said, I just feel like you can wear it with pretty much any lip liner. I love it. Okay, the last few items I picked up are jewelry items. So I get a lot of questions about my jewelry. Oh, no, wait, I have this too. Anastasia Brow, I ran out, so I got another one. I get the color blonde. It is more of like a taupey kind of color. I feel like it's really like the perfect color for me. So I've been using the NYX color in taupe and that's almost like too dark. Okay, why well, I want this. I'm, I'm new to this camera, so <laughs> bear with me here. Okay. Oh, for the love. Okay, let's see. Can you see that color? No, of course. Okay, well, that's fine. It's basically just like a, like a really, really, really light brown. I love that. I ran out, so I got that. Okay, so the necklaces that I picked up, I got these herringbone necklaces. Now you can get them. I may flip you guys around. I'm all over the place. I am so sorry. Get a little bit better light over here, I think. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. There we go. I am obsessed with these herringbone. So I got, you can order them one by one or you can order them as a set. And I got it as a set because I wanted to be able to layer them. So you guys have probably seen me wear those, but you can see the, you know, this one's a little thicker than this one. Now I will say though, I haven't had these long enough to tell you whether they tarnish or not. Cause I just recently got them, 
but so far so good and i'm like it's i live in arizona and it's still 100 degrees so i've been sweating and they seem to be fine okay the next thing that i got was this like super chunky paper clip necklace you guys all of these you've already seen me wear especially over on instagram for sure and then i got this one which is more like organic kind of it's like i don't know i like it it almost like goes in a tiny bit and then i just got some classic hoops so what i'm gonna do now is i am going to oh do not mind this mess behind me we have these chandeliers from our house back in oregon and we just still have them so we need to either sell them or figure out what we're going to do with those but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these outfits on for you guys and show you because i feel like it's kind of hard to see things when i'm just holding it up like this you know what i mean so i'm going to bring my mirror in here so you can see this has like the best light in here and show you guys these different outfits then I'm gonna go pick up some, I'm gonna go grocery shopping and I'm gonna go pick up some florals because a lot of you have been wanting a floral arrangement video. I might be doing that tomorrow. I may be doing that tomorrow, but I will put it in this vlog if I can. Okay, I am wearing some Spanx right now, but I do wanna show you guys these ones because these ones snatch you. like completely snatch you they are a thong so they have like these almost like plastic pieces in here that really kind of just snatch you you just look so good so i will link these i have them in black i have them in nude they're super affordable i think 16 dollars for two pairs on amazon i've been living in them i will say i get a lot of you that ask me like how I live in, you know, Spanx and shapewear. I just have been wearing them for so long, to be honest, that I I just have gotten used to wearing them and they are super uncomfortable. I will tell you, shapewear is not comfortable, but for me, it makes me feel good. So I wear them. I feel like I, I don't know. I like to feel good and it is what it is. So I just like deal with the, I deal with the pain, you guys. I just, like I said, to me, it's worth it, but it might not be worth it to you. Oh, these are the joggers. And like I mentioned, if you're curvy, joggers are game changer. I feel like I kept getting the like trendy sweatpants that were like thick at the ankles. That's just not for me. I just think I totally lose my shape. But these ones, I love. They're so cute. I've been wearing them with like heels and everything. Okay, so the one thing I will say about these joggers is the pilling is really bad. So I have this little tool I've shared with you guys before that I ordered off of Amazon. And it pretty much just like munches that all away. So this side I already did. And I'll show you guys. On this side, you basically just... munch off all of the the balls or the pilling i'm gonna have to put pressure on some of them some spots and then it's like they're brand new again so that's the one thing that i've noticed i don't know if it's going to get better over time sometimes i feel like when i first get pants that pill they do eventually get better but I still really love these so much. This is the one shoulder top, but it's like with the long sleeve. So I have the other ones. I've shared them in a previous video that is like a tank top style, but this one I feel like is so much more flattering. I did put on heels so you could, you could see like the full effect. Whoa, okay, there we go. But I love it. I think it like really accentuates your curves. And then even like the curve of the shirt, I just love it. If you can see like the full effect of the shirt, it's just so good. Is this not good? I love it. I think it's so, it just kind of really, it's so flattering right here, I feel like. 
I don't know, I just feel like I feel a little more fashionable. I feel, even I'm wearing sweats and I feel like I'm ready to go out to dinner and have a good time, so I love these tops. I'm gonna go ahead and put the nude ones on for you guys, even though they're the same, just so you can see the full effect. And I'm just gonna try them all on. Okay, so then here's the nude top. It's actually more of like a mauve, but again, I think it's just so good. It's so flattering. I I like them better than the one shoulder like tank style. I just think they're so pretty. And then I have my clear heels on. And oh, also by the way, the other thing that's kind of not so great about the sweatpants all these little black fuzzies all over the floor are from these sweatpants and i love it i think it's just so pretty okay then here is the skinny strap like i said i just feel like the skinny strap is just a little bit more flattering when you're curvy because it's not putting a bunch of fabric up here so i personally really like it but this is all of these outfits are going to be with the sweatpants but with the same heels it's just it's they're just so good abercrombie is killing it you guys I and I am not sponsored by them I wish I was but they are seriously killing it I don't know who is doing all of this there but wow again these are really stretchy the one shoulder shirts are cotton and they're not as stretchy so I would say order your true to size I did still order a small and they're fine so you could size down but if you're feeling a little skeptical or you're in between sizes I would say size like normal size and then this is the last one this one's probably one of my favorites because it is a total skims dupe if you can see let me see how i can do this it just has that like same kind of skims neckline you guys it's so good so i love this one and my whole thing with my fashion is how can i get the most out of it so basically I'm, I'm in the same sweatpants and heels in every single outfit because I don't have a million pairs of shoes and I don't have a million different things. So I really love the basics because of that purpose. But I am also gonna put on the naked wardrobe dress for you guys because if you are curvy, if you are curvy, this dress is amazing. Actually, before I put it on, I am going to pull out the Spanx and show you guys what Spanx I wear with them. These are the Spanx that I wear, like the short ones, with dresses. Now, I am going to get the ones that go a little longer because these ones, you know, cut off on the thigh. And sometimes they do dig into my skin and you can totally see the seam. But this is all I have for right now. These are just Spanx, like the actual brand. I will link these down below. They do fine. But I do want the ones that go a lot lower. And I think Skims has them where they come down like you know past your knee okay and then here is the dress you guys this dress is so good i love this dress it goes all the way down look at all this from those sweatpants though so it goes all the way down to almost my ankles it So I've actually already worn all of the shirts and washed them that I just shared with you guys. So I am hanging them up and putting them away. Then I'm going to go grocery shopping and I will take you guys with me. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully we can see Zach, but I don't think that I can film inside the store because Trader Joe's is, they're pretty strict. So we'll see. A lot of you guys have been asking for a closet tour 
Uh, I don't even know if I can open this up all the way. Let me see if I can show you. So I don't have a lot of clothes. I'm just not, I usually get rid of stuff right away. So basically this is all I have. It does kind of go back here, but you can't really see. There, you, there we go. I have a lot of black shirts and that is it. And then that's all Zach's. Mine is color coordinated, Zach's is not. So unless I color coordinate his stuff, but I don't because he doesn't keep up with it. So why put on all that time and effort when he doesn't color coordinate or keep it, keep it that way. So, I mean, he like kind of pairs the stuff together, but a lot of those shirts that you guys saw, I'm returning these today. I think a lot of the shirts that you guys saw of Zach's, those are his work shirts. But we're pretty neutral people when it comes to our outfits and clothes. I did not just hold those, but it's fine. You know, it's fine. All right, I think it's time to go grocery shopping. That's cool. These tables are really cool too. How much is this? 180. 180, that is it. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. I ran away from heartbreak. Oh my gosh, you guys, I, this is like one of the most successful trips that I've ever had. But don't need any of it. Okay, that was an unexpected home goods trip. Whoa, the light. I went to return the makeup bags that I showed you guys earlier. I don't know where that is shining from. I'm so sorry. But I went into home goods real quick and I got a little trinket, which if you know me, I am like, I don't like trinkets, but I do think sometimes they are necessary for like having something to put on top of a box or you know, whatever on top of a box. No, on top of books. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. So I found this. I redecorated my friend's her bookshelves and every time she comes over she always eyes this like little cooey design little vase that I have it's it's teeny tiny and when I saw this I was like oh that will totally replace it if you follow me on Instagram you already saw it but it's this alabaster orb and honestly I do like this a little bit better it's kind of more my vibe more like high-end and being that it's like it's kind of like timeless because it is that stone, but it's still modern because it's like an orb, you know what I mean? So I don't know, I never go for anything like this. It was only $14.99 and I really like it. It's made in Italy, genuine alabaster. That's it and I really love it. I don't know, let me see if I can get it. You guys, I'm gonna do my nails tonight. I do my own nails, maybe I'll vlog that a little bit. Isn't this gorgeous? They had another alabaster stone orb, but it was shiny and way more opaque than this one. So I went for this one because it's way more my vibe. I love matte things. So I'll show you guys where I put it. I'm actually okay, guys, I am going to make this floral arrangement with you. I got all of these flowers at Trader Joe's because if you saw my video, my like um, bookshelf styling video, I did have a floral arrangement in that video, 
but all of those flowers were from like a fine food store and they're more like specialty flowers. So I thought I would make this a little bit better for you guys because if you have a Trader Joe's or even like a Kroger or just like a more popular grocery store, you can get similar flowers. So we are just going to get to it. So I am using my vintage clay pot. And one thing, one massive tip when doing floral arrangements, you can most certainly get just a already done arrangement. If you love it, get that. It's already arranged, you know, do that. But if you really want to elevate your space and really want like a special unique look, I just like to go grab multiple different ones, which is a little bit more pricey. I used to get flowers once a week and you know, it would cost me about $30, but the amount of joy that it brings you is so worth it. And I'll blow $30 on, you know, Starbucks or whatever else. So to me, it's worth it. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got and what I do. So I, like I said, I'm using this clay pot. The other really big tip is to make sure that when you are styling that you like rotate your um, vessel or whatever you're using to put your florals in so that it has a pretty view 360 or if it's like just facing one way, obviously that's fine. Okay, so here's my plant food. I am gonna put this in there just because I do want it to last as long as possible. Who even knows if this is the right amount to the right amount of water? I don't know. But it's what I always do. I should probably read it. I never have. Okay, so I don't know the names of all of these flowers. I just buy what I like. And you guys will notice a, a theme. I don't really buy a ton of flowers with color. Now peonies, when they do come out, I peonies are my favorite. So I will sometimes get like pink peonies, which is a big deal for me. But I did wanna make these more fall-like. So I did go a little bit out of my comfort zone, I'll be honest, because look, I bought wheat, which is very unlike me. But the, the wheat was $2.99 at Trader Joe's, so I mean, and the thing about this is it's dried, so you really don't have to, you could keep that, you know what I mean? So another thing is you can do floral tape and like layer the tape kind of like as a grid, and then that makes it kind of easier to put your flowers in. I'll show you guys that another time. All my stuff is outside, so I'm going to just do this this way. This vessel kind of comes, it's gonna be easy to work with, but the floral tape, if you're working with like a wide open opening of your vessel, that really does come in handy. All of these were about, well, the, the dried stuff was $2.99. And then the flowers were between $4.99 and $6.99. So this one was a little bit more hefty of a price, I'll be honest. I think I spent $30 is what I, I believe. I remember correctly, which I, like I said, you guys, I blow $30 on whatever else. So may as well enjoy some flowers. Okay, so I got, I really love delicate florals. So these ones are really delicate. I'm not sure what they are, but I got those. Then my next delicate ones, I got these. Let's see if it'll go in focus. I'm still so new to this, you guys, so I'm so sorry. I got those. I got these. Then I like to grab a hardy flower that has like a hardier stem that usually lives a little bit longer. So I just got some spray roses. You can never go wrong with spray roses. I know they're all white, you guys, because I don't like too much color. I try to get like a darker, if you saw my, my, I'll try to insert a photo, but if you saw my bookshelf styling, I did actually get darker or like pink. It was very different for me. And then I got these, which are really cool. 
there we go i got those and then i got the wheat so i'm going to treat the wheat like my greenery because i don't really have a lot of greenery normally what i will do when i do a floral arrangement is i start with the greenery but like i said i don't have any greenery this time some of these i mean these flowers i could kind of use as greenery these ones because really they are pretty lush but you know we work with what we got so i always cut the ends of my florals every time i put them in water and sometimes if some of them are starting to look a little warped i'll pull them out cut them and then put them back in or cut all of them after a couple of days just to get a little bit like a few more days out of it so i'm actually going to and i do cut at like an angle which i don't even know if that does anything but i'm going to keep mine kind of lower in this pot so where it's kind of like it'll be hugging around here. Like so. And then if you guys saw some of my other videos, I like to try to open up my roses because I think it gives it a little bit more of a delicate look. And I like that personally. The thing about flowers is you just have to kind of like work it in and play around and kind of see what you like and what you don't like. And I usually make a big mess all over the floor and then I just will sweep it all up. But And you can have different shapes. Like sometimes I like asymmetrical. Sometimes I like it to be like, you know, like a V almost. Just kind of depends on what you want. These are just like to die for you guys. Aren't these stunning? It's not gonna want to, there we go. So good, so good. Now someone did leave me a comment saying to be careful with cutting off or taking off too much of the greenery because it makes their life la not last as long. So, or makes the flowers not last as long. So I'm gonna be careful about that. Always cut a little, give yourself like room to cut it down. And I like a more delicate like look with just a few that are a little bit bigger or like longer and just kind of out there, you know, just like, I like that kind of look. So I'm just gonna keep going and I don't know. There's not really, like too much that I do. I basically just keep adding the flowers in until I like it, you know, and I move things around. Like maybe I want the wheat just on one side or, you know, you just kind of play around until it's kind of the vibe that you want and just have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. Open up your roses, peel off the broken or dead petals of florals don't think too much into it just have fun with it now i do will have to say you got to give yourself a little bit of time i mean like as in it takes like an hour to really kind of make an arrangement if you really put some like effort into it i guess but it's so worth it it's so good it's so fun i love this I think I'm gonna hop onto Instagram and let you guys know that in my vlog, which I think I'm gonna try to get this vlog up tomorrow. Today is Sunday and I would really like to get this vlog up on Monday. I've had so many of you guys asking me for more content. So here we are. And the way that I feel like I can do that faster is vlog style. So I think these are so cool. Are these cool? I think these are so cool. Like, look how cool this is. Oh, wow. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh, so cute! <laughs> you guys, it's so good. Okay. I 
So what I like about spray roses is that they give you almost like some thickness to the floral arrangement. And it kind of helps like beef it up, if you know what I mean. So what I do is I just kind of go back and forth between all the different flowers. I leave some stems long and some short and just kind of play, honestly. Okay, the other thing is I like to like turn it around because this is gonna be the front of it, but I like to make sure that I'm getting like a good view and good angle of the arrangement from all different areas. Mine is going to be a front to back, so the sides are gonna be a little less, it's not gonna be like a 360. I mean, it's gonna be fine, so if you're looking at it from the side, it's gonna be fine, but it is going to kind of be more like long from side to side. I'm just gonna beef it up with spray roses. Spray roses really are such a game changer. They really help just beef it up for, you know, an affordable price. And as cheesy as this sounds, just love the whole process of it. Like enjoy the flowers, love the process. Like it, I really think it helps like create that beautiful piece. I know that I can be a little, you know, woo woo at times, but I'm telling you, try it because you will be so blown away at what you can create. Anyone can do this. You really can. This is turning out to be stunning. I love it. It's killing my back though, but I do love it. Peel off any of the dead leaves. Don't keep those on there. Sometimes too, I will take them out. This one's way too pretty to be kind of hidden back there. So I'm gonna put him in the front. Oh yes, girl, you are shining. Woo, she's good. You guys, I love, I forgot how much I love floral arranging. You know, I haven't done this a lot since COVID, but So kind of like look at it and see like where else you need pieces. Like I have some really out here and you know, like I kind of need a little bit back here. So the other thing I like, these are a little different. So I'm like almost wondering if I put one like, mm, I'm not sure, I might put that in last. I also try to like pay attention to which flowers I have so I can keep the mixture going. You know, cause that one's different. These ones kind of smell a little weird. This, this one. Some of my florists out there will know what this is. And I am in no way a professional. I just really, really love creating and I think florals are such an art piece on their own. I mean, gosh, like, can you even believe 
that these just grow in the ground. Like that just blows my mind. Like something so beautiful just comes out of the ground. It's just so crazy to me. you guys again on Instagram honestly if you're not following me on Instagram that is where you get that's where all the good stuff is really it truly is because I do show everything for the most part over on Instagram before you guys see it just instant and I can show you it is more fashion but again turn it around make sure liking it this one needs cut so another tip this one you would think you would cut it right here but I'll cut it down here just to still give me that length but I'll cut off these pieces and then it's like one stem I don't know if that's like how you're supposed to do it but that's how I do it This is a shining star. So beautiful. I think she's gonna go right. Also make sure you're still getting in the water. Oh yeah, you are a gorgeous girl. Stunning. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know when like, you know when you hope something turns out and then it does turn out and you're like, oh girl, you ain't so bad after all. I think the other key too is creating like layers and layers and levels and depth like down in the bottom and then it coming out. I just think like making it look beautiful and like creating highs and lows front to back just like I teach in all of my styling. It goes the same with floral arranging. Highs and lows front to back depth fill in like the holes get some heartier stuff and some delicate florals i feel like you need both honestly and i'm working with everything is from trader joe's i really wanted to try to get stuff that you guys could go out and purchase because i realized that not all of you might have like a specialty store to go to so i wanted to make sure because Trader Joe's, yes, it's Trader Joe's, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have a Kroger or, you know, whatever. What kind of grocery store? Safeway, Albertsons, what other grocery stores? I mean, even Costco. Okay, I had to go, my memory card got full, so I had to go make some space. But this is kind of what we're looking like. I think I need to add in a little bit more wheat. And sometimes, okay, the one thing I didn't tell you guys is when I'm at the grocery store, what I will do is just kind of grab different bunches and compare them to each other. And then that's how I kind of find the arrangement that I'm going for. So like I'll grab all the different flowers, piece them together, make sure that they go, make sure that they look good. And then what I'll do is I'll just start like looking to see where I can add in more things. Fill in spots that, you know, I want to fill in. And make sure you're always like rotating it and looking. So actually mine's gonna probably be more front facing. 
I am not a florist, so sometimes it doesn't always go as planned. So like right here, I have a little bit of an empty space. So I'm gonna try to focus on filling that up just cause it looks like a little off. Okay, I'm gonna go put my battery on charge. It is dying, so I am going to charge it up and then I'll show you guys the after. But basically you just kind of repeat stuff in and just kind of keep going until you like it. You can always pull pieces out. I pulled the whole thing and started all over again. So this is what we got. Here she is all finished. So a couple of things when you are making your floral arrangements, just remember to go low and to go high back and front. If you can do like a 360 view, unless you know that you are only going to see the front. Like if I keep this on our kitchen counter, it's okay that it's only perfect looking straight onto it. But if you want to like put it on a coffee table, walk around, spin it. A lot of people will use like lazy Susans to arrange on and it just allows you to kind of rotate it as you are putting the flowers in. Like I said, a lot of the times I'll do more of these for you guys in vlogs and I'll get greenery, start with my greenery and then start with like my fillers and then add in my dainty flowers at the very like end. Today I did a little bit different. I added in dainty and all the different things because all of these flowers are from Trader Joe's. So if you have a local like floral wholesale, you can actually go in there. You just pay a little bit more than I think wholesale prices and you can get like all the cool different stuff and I'll show you guys. I'll take you one day and show you what that looks like. But for flowers just from Trader Joe's, I will say this is I'm very impressed. So again, just work front to back, high and low, fill in, play around. If you need to rip pieces out, do it. Don't, don't stress it too much. But if you have any questions, let me know. And this is it. It is like quite a pretty fall floral arrangement. Very subtle, but totally my vibe. Okay, you guys, and that is going to be it for today's vlog. I didn't get to the bookshelf styling. However, I am going to vlog that for the next vlog. So look out for that and just kind of show you guys how I did that. I know we didn't see Zach in this vlog, but he will for sure be in the next one. He just was busy all day today. Um, he's still at work and I have to go start dinner, but I hope that you guys like the floral arrangement and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye guys. Thank you.